Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. Yes, you see my Coco cat back there. If you're new here, thank you for joining us. Um, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button there if you don't mind. I try to put out videos on a daily basis if possible. Most of the time I am putting videos out on a daily basis. When you do, make sure that you're hitting that notification bell so you'll never miss another video release and with that said let's get into today's video shall we so the washington commanders snapped a four game losing streak they beat the chicago bears last night 12 to 7 it wasn't a very impressive game it was a very impressive defensive game i will say um, the commander's defense uh, especially their defensive line played really well last night um, I mean, what can I say? John Allen had a wonderful game last night. Now, he had a couple of times where it looked like he was injured, um, had to come out of the game for a couple of plays, but he was able to go back into the game and finish the game. Montez Sweat looks like that he's back. You know, we were kind of concerned about Montez Sweat at the beginning of the season because it really felt like Montez was, you know, just starting off slow. You know, no sacks, just really not calling his game whatsoever. But, you know, Montez Sweat, he's gotten into it now. Um, Dron Payne uh, got shaken up a little bit there, but was able to come back into the game too. So, overall, the that defensive line had a nice game last night. Uh, they played... A good game plan against Justin Fields, keeping him into the pocket for the most part. The times that Justin Fields did get out of the pocket and scramble, that's when he hurt the Washington Commanders. That's when he was able to almost beat the Washington Commanders. Um, you know, that one big pass in the end zone, that was an impressive pass. And it was after uh, Fuller made a really great play to stop the Bears short of the first down and the Bears lined up and caught the Commanders really, you know, off off guard, 12 men on the field, free play, and Fuller's probably like, what in the world's going on? You know, Justin Fields able to throw the football in the end zone for a touchdown. Other than that, we kept Justin Fields, I mean, honestly, Fields got beat up. I mean, you could tell he got beat up. And at one point, I didn't know if they were going to pull Justin Fields because he was wincing in pain pretty much the, that entire game. You know, especially after that, that last sack. Well, it wasn't really a sack, but it was a hit after I believe it was uh, uh, Jamie Davis who got to him. Um, he was not feeling too good after that. I think it was right before the first half ended. But, uh, you know, Washington did enough to win, uh, and they did enough to lose the game as well. It just so happened, uh, and I said this on Twitter last night, my question was, are the Commanders going to win this game by default? Because that's how it kind of felt like, you know. It felt like the Commanders did lose or win this game by default, because, honestly, it was a game of inches. But, you know, I was thinking about this. It, I was thinking about that game back in 1987. It was the NFC Championship game. Uh, and I guess technically it was in 1988. Uh, but it was uh, the Washington Redskins against the Minnesota Vikings. And it was the last play of the game. It was uh, fourth down. And the Vikings were in the red zone. They throw in the end zone, and Daryl Green was able to break the, the pass up, and the Redskins go to the Super Bowl. So, you know, had Daryl Green not broken up that pass, things might would have been different, right? So, um, so you have to look at games like that, and then you look at games last night. Yeah, it wasn't a very impressive win, but it was a win. And you'll take any win that you can possibly get. Did Carson Wentz have a good game last night? No. But, look, Carson Wentz, 
I think he, he, he's playing with heart. And here's the thing. He has not had a great time behind that offensive line. He got sacked a couple of times again last night. Um, he has not had a lot of time to drop back to pass. As a matter of fact, Ron Rivera and the, uh, the post-game presser, really, I tell you what, this is the Ron Rivera that I want coaching the Washington Commanders. You know, the Ron Rivera that we have had up to this point, I think has been way too passive, way too passive. This is the Ron Rivera that I think could possibly turn things around for the Washington Commanders. I just want you to listen to it now. Uh, all, all of the really bad words have been bleeped out, uh, but I apologize for, for the language nonetheless. Just give it just a yeah, second here. I'm going to speak my mind for a second. But honestly, uh, it's been hard. It really has. You lose four games in a row, and everybody wants to get you, you know, just get on you. Rightfully so. They play so. their asses off. They have. They play their asses off for everybody. They come out, and they show up. They work hard. All right? They don't complain. Okay? They hear all the stuff, and they got to deal with it. I get that, and I respect them for that, because they're resilient. They come back. Everybody keeps wanting to say, I didn't want anything to do with Carson. Well, I'm the guy that pulled out the sheets of paper that looked at the analytics that watched the tape in the freaking when we were at indianapolis okay and that's what pisses me off because the young man doesn't deserve to have that all the time i'm sorry i'm done see this is the ron rivera that i won't coach in the washington commanders i want ron rivera so fired up that it's going to feed you know, it's going to be this this uh, domino effect. <laughs> You're probably hearing those cats. It's going to be a domino effect um, with the players. The player is going to feed off of that energy. That is what I want from Ron Rivera. A lot of you probably saw uh, the clip uh, on YouTube back in his Carolina days. I think it was halftime. And he was just, I mean, he was giving this pep talk to his guys using a lot of pretty choice language. But it was the Ron Rivera that got all of us excited. Like, that is the coach we needed. Because, you know, Jay Gruden really didn't seem like the type that, you know, it was like, come on, come on, Jay. You know, get mad about something. Get, get them going. He just seemed like the type that was just sitting there on the sidelines looking uh, like he had gas or something. I, I don't know. Um, but that was the Ron Rivera, you know, that we were like, oh, man, we are finally getting a fiery coach who's going to be a no-nonsense type guy. And then it, it felt like, uh, I don't, you know, it, it just felt like, yeah, we're getting a guy who's mild-mannered, who's almost like Joe Gibbs was and. There could only be one Joe Gibbs. And it felt like it wasn't working, right? And then suddenly now we see this. And of course this comes after a win, but uh, this is what we need from Ron Rivera. We need him to get fired up. We need to we need him to get so angry that he's going to be like, you know what? I made the right decision. I'm going to show you that I made the right decision in getting Carson Wentz. And Carson is going to show you that he made the right decision in bringing Carson Wentz to Washington. You know, and it really comes back to the fact that you got to got you got to have a good offensive line and you really you do. You have to have a good offensive line now um Al and, and uh, Kirk last night was talking about they feel like that maybe Washington has finally found uh, the good the the right combination on the offensive line. Um, you know Tyler Loss, Larson was in at um, center last night. Um, Norwell, I give him props. Norwell had a much better game last night. Uh, to Norwell because he looked awful he looked horrible against the titans 
he looked a lot better last night. And, of course, you know, Charles Leno continues to look solid, in my opinion. He always looks solid. But let's let's not kid ourselves. The Chicago Bears are an up-and-coming team, but they are not that great of a team. They are a team that you should beat. And the Chicago Bears almost beat them. So, honestly, you know, let's feel good about this win, but let's also keep this in realism mode, okay? And the thing is, is that this team... They've got a, a hard road ahead of them. They've got a, a, a Green Bay team. Luckily, they're going to have some time to prepare for them. But, you know, the Packers, that's going to be a tough game. And hopefully by then, they're going to get some guys healthy on the offensive line. Who knows, maybe at that point, we may get Chase Young back. I mean, it's going to be getting close enough to November that maybe... Possibly by then we could get Chase Young. I don't know. But that would be great if we could. Having said all that, you're 2-4. and four. I don't know if I expect them to make a run at this point. Certainly if they beat the Packers, yes. That will ignite something. But it starts with at least one win. And they did, they did get the one win. So I was proud of them last night for getting the one win. They played great defense last night. Um, I did not miss William Jackson the third at all whatsoever. Hope he gets traded. Um, I, I really hope maybe he gets traded for an offensive lineman. Maybe we can send him somewhere where there's an offensive lineman that is you know, of, of good quality that is unhappy where they're at, that's what we need to look at. Because if we can do that switch, let's do it. Because that would be the answer to a lot of our prayers on the offensive line, I believe. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Washington picks up their second win of the season. Um, Ron Rivera is all fired up. We can do whatever we want to on Sunday. Um, I plan to go to a nephew's birthday party. Just if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it. Uh, comment below. Tell me what you thought about the game. Um, yes, I'm wearing sunglasses. Some, some people are going to comment on that. It's because the sun is shining right here. And it's bugging me, so um, that's the reason why I'm wearing sunglasses, okay? Um, share this video with others, and again, please consider subscribing to this channel if you possibly can. You can support this channel in other ways. You can support me on Patreon. Just uh, search for Washington Football Maniacs on Patreon. Uh, Patreon memberships are only $3 a month. It's $3, that's it. And you can also support me directly, uh, and I'll show you right now. Seem to get out. But something deep inside won't let me quit.